Hey everybody, it's Tiffany here and we are back with an all new video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do pork chops in a sheet pan. This recipe is super easy and you guys are going to love it. In a bowl, you will combine two tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce or W sauce, <laughs> two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and one packet of ranch dip mix. We're gonna be using about half of it in the bowl. Then we will add some crushed black pepper. Next, go ahead and mix everything in the bowl up. I did have that crystallized honey in there. If you do experience that, you can always put it in the microwave and that will decrystallize it and make it nice and liquefied for you. But I just decided to keep it a little bit thick and mix it in. Grab your defrosted pork chops and just lay them in a row on your sheet pan. Then get your mixture in your bowl and just spread it over each pork chop and then we are going to flip it over and add the rest of the marinade on top of it. Next, we are gonna grab our washed potatoes and let's start cutting those up. I like to slice my potatoes right down the center and then flip the flat side down on the cutting board and slice it one more time and do that to the other one and then I will chop them up into bite-sized pieces. These make the perfect bite-sized pieces for your sheet pan. Put your potatoes in a bowl and add three to four tablespoons of olive oil on top. Then add the rest of your ranch packet. Add some black pepper. Grab your spoon and we are going to coat these potatoes up. Add your potatoes to your sheet pan. Make sure to leave a little bit of room because we have some veggies we're gonna be adding as well. These are some of our homegrown okra. Some of these are really large. They are not gonna be as tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these out. We're also gonna do a test as I cut them. If they are not tender, they're going out well, and we always give the rest of our vegetables to our chickens. So you will see me leaving some of these and then cutting some of them up and putting them over to the side. Okra is so yummy and so delicious. This is one of the truly one of the easiest ways to cook it. I used to be one of those that loved fried okra and that was the only way I was going to eat it. But now I have discovered a new and healthy way of eating it and just sticking it on the sheet pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper or putting it in the air fryer. It is delicious as well and you can also saute it. Trust me, try this with your family if they like okra they are absolutely going to love it this way Bake at 475 for 15 minutes and then you're going to pull it out. We are going to flip the pork chops over and toss the potatoes and okra. Return this to the oven and bake for an additional 15 minutes. Wow, doesn't dinner look amazing and it was so fast to get on. Well guys, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends.